Welcome back. The desserts are done and the Aussie heroes are all set to sample. Whose sweet will be the biggest treat? All right, so the red is a lemon meringue tart. The green is caramelised banana pudding with creme fresh. Oh. And Olympic rings. And Olympic rings, yes. yes. Um, and finally, the blue is a muesli bar cake with protein <laughs> and yogurt sorbet. So where do you want to start? On oh, this one. Oh, lemon meringue. Yeah, Get right. in there. Very nice texture, that lemon cheesecake part. It's strange. It tastes all right. It's got a bunch of different flavours, isn't it? I'd just love to be able to know how to do that. I wish I could think of more detail, but solid stuff in the red <laughs> is all I can come up with. And let's give Blue a go with, with the, the Iron Man. With the muesli bar. It's sort of like a pudding type thing. Yeah, it is, it, yeah. You know? it looks like Blue's given us something a bit healthier. In every dish, huh? Yeah. Oh. Blue and, uh, was never a chance with me with that attitude. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I like that. It looks quite good. It looked great. And the Olympic rings definitely has won me before I even start. Bit of a banana man. Then a Queenslander. Yum, that's really nice. Mm. Lovely banana flavours coming through there. <laughs> it's nice though, tastes nice. The chefs are obviously know what they're doing out the back there. <laughs> they're just, uh, there's going to be two disappointed uh, chefs, I guess. So. While our chefs wait for the verdict, the competition doesn't stop. Boys will be boys. Oh! It's up to the champion competitors to collectively choose the colour that created the killer cuisine. All the meals are awesome, don't you think? They must then place a card of that colour into the bill folder. Green, very, very impressive. I'm very impressed with the green. Cooking lamb for groups of people, I think it's kind of hard because some people like it well done, like you liked it raw, where I like it well done. The blue was trying to be healthy, trying to be an athlete menu. I think he did very well for that. Oh, it's all way, nice, yeah. Way yeah. Too, nice, the, but way too healthy. <laughs> you came good at the end, though. You did yeah, he the, did the, the music bar, yeah, it was yeah, very good. good. The red was pretty good with the meringue. And red got off to a bit of a slow start, but came home strong too. I really like the colour, the beets and the carrots. You know, overall, I'd have to say, uh, say that one. Yeah. What about you, Steve? It's either green or red for me. Unfortunately, we have to choose a winner. So, point, point. Oh, unanimous. Yes. All of us agreed on some. Everyone happy? Happy. happy. There we go. Job okay, done. Yeah, Who will stand atop the kitchen podium? Here we go, here we go boys. Here we go. Who have the legends chosen? Oh! oh! Pete shot out of the blocks and led from the front to most impress the icons with his cuisine. His three courses of grilled cherubim with scallop and leek ravioli, pistachio crusted lamb rack and banana pudding kicked some goals and delighted the distinguished guests. Who will be dining with us next week? And which chef will beat the clock to plate the perfect 30-minute menu? You're a winner. Get in there. You can sky it now. <sighs>